Now I'm going to look at how you can change the direction of the induced potential difference and hence current. So the first way to do this is moving towards the coil. We got an induced potential difference in one direction and when we move away from the coil we get an induced potential difference in the other direction. The other thing that we can do is change which pole of the magnet we're moving towards or the coil. So if I move the north pole towards the coil, I get a positive induced potential difference. If I turn the magnet round and move the south pole towards the coil, I get a negative induced potential difference, which makes the current flow in the opposite direction. So the two ways to change the direction of the induced potential difference is move the magnet in the opposite direction or change it so that the, you are moving the opposite pole and keep moving the magnet in the same direction.